Hi friends, Hi. welcome to another video. We've got something really exciting for you today. Um, we are gonna be filming another get to know video for you today. Um, the band that we're gonna be introducing you all to today is a band called Devil's Henchmen. They are a metal band from Liverpool and I'll let Dakota tell you a little bit more about them. Yeah, so like she said, they're a metal band from Liverpool. They've just dropped a new album. Um, it would have been a couple of days ago as of this video going out. Um, they're fresh off. Uh, playing Bloodstock Festival. They won Metal to the Masses in Merseyside, so they're straight on the up and coming up there now, um, and we're here to see their album release show. Yeah, we're really looking forward to this. We did buy tickets for this gig. Um, we are going to be hanging out with them in a little while as well, so make yeah. sure you stay tuned to see that. Um, and yeah, we're going to just check out the venue, have a look around, mm -hmm. have a little beer, and then, yeah, party time. Yeah. 2023 be like, we got a vape vending machine. Yeah. Oh, and you can get snazzy sunglasses too. Oh, and a fan. And a fan. A hand fan. Vapes. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> there you go. Wow. So, this is the venue where the gig is going to be happening tonight. It's EBGV's in Liverpool. Um, and yeah, let's go take a look around. friends so I've, ra I've managed to round up two of Devil's henchmen and we're gonna have a little chat with them now so would you like to introduce yourselves? Yeah I'm Joe and I'm the singer and guitarist. I'm Elliot I play bass and I chat shit. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so um, tonight obviously hometown album release sold out show all in one how does that feel to be playing that? It's pretty surreal really isn't it like to, to have like a, a sold out show in here is just like absolutely insane but yeah it, it's brilliant yeah i mean we've been going to come to gigs here for years and um we thought this would do pretty well considering the um the way we're on at the moment but we never even dreamed it would sell out so it's been a really really pleasant surprise for us really positive yeah nice one so you've just dropped your new album obviously this is the album release show can you tell us about that then yeah, well, it's uh, 10 tracks on it, and uh, we've been working on it for like the last few years now, really. So to finally have it out is like absolutely amazing. And I think it's like, um, it's, it's still very devil centric. Like you can hear it from like our last EP, but it's definitely a progression from that. Like you're hearing a few more like little influences in there and stuff now. And yeah, yeah we're, really, we're really happy with it, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just a development from what we've done before. And we're excited to you know get out there, see how people, people think about it and just keep going. Well, we've personally checked it out and we think it's amazing. Like <laughs> I did share it on our story the other day. It is brilliant. We really, really enjoyed it. We like how there's a bit of a different approach with it because I think everybody's at the minute is going for like, bring me architects, metalcore, deathcore. And bringing in a bit of like, Metallica Slayer vibes, it mixes it up a little bit and I think it's really nice to have something, going after something a little bit different and I, I like, I think obviously it's obviously working a treat for you isn't it, so, um, but yeah you did Metal to the Masses recently which you won do you want to talk to us about Metal to the Masses? Oh, where, where, where to start with that one, I mean <laughs> we, we entered it just thinking I mean, like, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give it a crack, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of sick bands in the city we'll, and we'll give it a go and we just, we, I don't think we really thought we'd get all the way through until that first heat happens did we yeah I think, yeah i mean when beforehand like obviously we had seen what other bands were playing and we had played with a bunch of them bands before and we were like oh shit this is like this is a tough one but um yeah like that first heat like it just went down so well the crowd like best crowd we've ever had in that in that first heat and it was just insane and we were thinking we might actually do something good here like we might actually we might have a chance now like just seeing how the crowd interacted to that first first heat we got a bit hopeful for the final and like thankfully it paid off like yeah so you actually played bloodstock festival obviously because you won metal to the masses how was that experience i i, I feel like it didn't really happen still <laughs> like we're thinking back to it now and it's like it's just like it was just like a different world like walking into a gig of that size and it, it was just absolutely amazing yeah yeah i mean it was it was we kind of took the attitude that like the work doesn't stop until the day we've played yeah. so we showed up on the thursday night we set all our camp up and that and then we printed out about a thousand flyers say you know who we were 
what we'd won and when and where we'd be playing. Yeah. So a lot of the Thursday afternoon, Thursday night and Friday morning, we just spent around we harassed work. anyone like a leather jacket with like thrash shirts on. <laughs> just went, oh, come, come watch us, come watch us. And um, we clashed with some pretty big bands as well. So when that tent, when that tent ends up filling up, it was really, really nice to see people are taking a bit of notice and were enjoying themselves so much with it. Yeah, I mean, we had Secret Rake, which were like the biggest thrash band of the day playing and they perfectly clashed with us and we were like, oh no, that's like all these thrashers that we've been harassing for the last two days. <laughs> They're just going to fuck off on Secret Rake. But surprisingly, like, they stuck around and they watched us on it. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. So, from ob obviously you've achieved so much already, I think you're on a really good trajectory and I think 2024 is looking very good for you. What have you guys got planned for 2024? Anything big or...? We pretty much just want to play as many gigs as possible and play the album to as many people as we can. Um, I think the plan is back into the year, try and get a couple of new singles out and just go a little bit down the singles route just to fill in like the next year with that and um, thinking of maybe even doing a couple of like, cover tracks of like some of like our rootsy kind of like bunk kind of vibes so that that's a little bit of a plan we've got for next year but not as fully set in stone just you yet. never know you never know bloodstock again <laughs> another, another oh time. you know second time's the charm i that's guess but we've, we've, we've got a few good gigs lined up our, our mate liam from reclaimed he runs a promotion company called phase nine and they're putting on eval on the bigger modern flash bands and we're on the we're on the bill for that one uh, about 15 minute walk down the road in february that's going to be a, a big show for for the scene in the city as well, so we're very excited for that, I and mean, we hope to have a, a very big, uh, energetic room, shall we say, for that one. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Are we have supporting um, Punk Legends Discharge in Wigan next year as well, which is you know a bit mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. We'll definitely be getting tickets to those and coming to check you out again. But yeah, so for anybody that's wanting to check out your stuff, where can we find you? So what are you like? In, do you have Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz? Yeah, on Instagram it's devilshenchman.uk, mm -hmm. Facebook's just Devil's Henchman, and all streaming platforms, all your normal ones, Spotify, Apple Music, we're on all that as well. So Yeah, no yeah. problem. I'll put all your links in the description box underneath the video so anybody can find you. Um, is there anything else you want to add before the end? Yeah, there's anything you want to add? Um, <laughs> new album, The Deaf Choir, out now. Please stream <laughs> it, please stream it. We need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, thank you for having us as well. That's yeah. all right. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure, and we're really looking forward to checking out your set in a little while as well. So thank you very much, guys. Thanks, guys. Have thank a good you. night. Bye. Hi, friends. Hi. So we've just come out of our interview with the band. Uh, I'm sure you're going to love it. They were great. Um, but we've just come to us. Weatherspoons just around the corner from the venue. Obviously. Uh, we haven't had any tea yet, so we're going to get some food, we're going to have a couple of drinks, and then we're going to go back to the venue to see the show. Obviously, the most oh, important yeah, part. Obviously, the big meat of the video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we did our interviews, we came out, we're going to get some food now. And yeah, what have you got to drink? So I've gone for, because I've ordered some food, I don't want something very weighty like a Guinness, but I've gone for just a nice Corona, nice light beer, I guess. Uh, and then I got Luna, a double Jack Daniels and Coke. <laughs> yeah, I love Jack Daniels. I, I'm off vodka at the minute. Me and vodka aren't <laughs> talking to each other. Had a really rough weekend last weekend yes. and I think I'm actually done with vodka. Uh, but yeah, we're going to stop waffling now. We're going to have some drinks and get a little bit wavy and then yeah. go get party. Ready for a gig. <laughs> go party with some bands for a bit. It's going to be really good. Stay tuned. So we're just done in Spoons, we've met some of our friends, Amy and Joe, you've seen them in videos before. Uh, we've had some food and we've had some drinks and we're going to go back to the venue now because the bands are coming on soon. So yeah, um, it's really cold.
This is gonna fight back.
So we're fresh out of the gig, we are running to the train station to get the last train home because obviously last train home, we're going to be stuck here otherwise and we'll just see where the night takes us from there so stay it's tuned Friday I night, guess. So see where that happens. <laughs> it's Friday night, we're both off work tomorrow so. You know what happened last time <laughs> if you watched the hot milk one. Well but yeah exactly so this yeah, could yeah. get messy. Hi friends, uh, we just went to film this outro and I thought I had a bug on my head and then it fell onto my arm and I just lost my mind it, and I'm, I'm gonna have to put this into show. footage here. Right, I'm gonna have to show you because it's so funny. So <laughs> here you go, enjoy. It's too dark and I don't want to film really close to home. Sorry, I thought that's just not good. I thought I had something on my head. My head's itchy. <gasps> oh, I did! Oh, I did! Oh, Jake! Oh. Ah! Did you see that? Please tell that? me you saw that. What was it? What the? F oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've literally just had a heart attack. Oh my god! Right. And now we've removed the bug from the situation. Back to the matter. <laughs> But yeah, we just got home from Devil's Henchman um, I can't film on the train because it's too dark and you can't see anything and then I didn't want to film anything walking home because I don't want to give away where we live because I'm a safe cookie. Obviously. But yeah, how was Devil's Henchman? Let's talk about it. Oh, they killed it tonight. They were so on, they were on fire. <laughs> One thing for me is, obviously you would have already seen the interview by now, um, They've done a lot this year, like Metal to the Masses, Bloodstock, all these mm -hmm. gigs that they're doing, etc. So I was like, you know, this is a band that's going places, you know, they're smashing it, they're killing it, they're doing amazing. And when we interviewed them before, to see them sat there like, oh, we, we didn't mm -hmm. think we were going to get anywhere with this and we're really surprised at how far we've come. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, these guys are genuinely amazing. They're achieving amazing things mm -hmm. and they're going after things that other people aren't, which is making them even better. And it was just, they were so humble about it and they were, they absolutely killed it tonight. Like, obviously, the show was sold out. It was packed from front to back. Mm -hmm. The crowd interaction was incredible. Everybody was getting involved. You know, people were pitting, people were moshing, people were headbanging. Oh, there was everything. Yeah, yeah, like the set was, crowd was surf, sick. Isn't everything. <laughs> yeah, people were trying to crowd surf, you know, in this tiny Such little a venue. Small venue. Yeah. yeah. Um, like it was just sick. Like the set list was sick. Um, everybody was getting involved. The crowd interaction was brilliant. We only interviewed two of them, but we did meet the rest of the band this evening. And they were all really nice. They were all lovely. You know, the interview went really well. And they're definitely a band that I can see going the distance in the future. Yeah, so very much in theme. If you don't know, get to know. That's because it. if you like old school thrash, these are definitely up your street. Absolutely. Like, so if, you don't, if you've never heard of Devil's Henchman, but you love Slayer, you love old school Metallica, you love old school Anthrax. You love municipal waste, all these kind of bands. Get involved. You'll yeah. love Devil's Henchman. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I really can't recommend this band enough. So mm -hmm. get involved. I will leave all of their links down below so you can go and find them and you can go and check them out. You know, this band have big things <laughs> coming. So stay tuned because I'm sure there's going to be more to come in the future. Yeah. But yeah, it's now half past 12 and we're going to go out for a few drinks yeah. in our town, in our little town and have a good night because yeah, we're off work tomorrow. So, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'll leave all the links down below. Thank you so much for all your support. It really does mean a lot to us. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for another one. Peace. Bye.